Transnet Board Chairperson Popo Malefe has reiterated that the newly appointed Group CEO Portia Derby was the board's preferred candidate. However, media reports suggest otherwise. It's alleged that Derby's success may have something to do with her prior position as Public Enterprises Director General and that both her name and DBSA CEO Patrick Lamini came up during the recruitment process. Mulefe says her appointment follows a rigorous and thorough process that also adhered to good governance. We have submitted uh, to the minister. The minister doesn't tell us who uh, should, should, uh, should be submitted to the cabinet. And I went out personally to talk to her, to persuade her uh, to participate in the process. And the process included as well independent leadership assessment through a psychometric test which she passed. Transnet will also fill a number of key executive positions such as the position of chief procurement officer and that of the chief treasurer. They say they have been unable to fill these positions because of delays. You can't speed up a disciplinary processes because it also depends on the cooperation of the party that is being subjected to disciplinary process. Uh, most of the time, some of these people anticipating being dismissed at the end of the process or being given some kind of uh, uh, punishment which may either result in them being lowered in their positions, they, 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 they delay the process. The State Capture Commission of Inquiry has heard evidence relating to maladministration and large-scale corruption at Transnet. Derby has vowed to clean up the company and restore good governance. She replaces interim CEO Mohamed Mohamedi. Balint Limtetwa, SABC News, Johannesburg.